Well, it's now the after morning show. You're with your future president. If you believe in voting for somebody who has a 240 IQ that wants to totally morph the nature of politics, make it more diversified, make it more personalized, have it come to you. Have it free up and make your time more efficient. Be vastly more attentive to your life, your needs. So this morning, what do I bring you after struggling through that morning wake-up? Trying to deal with who you are, you the voters, and deal with the trap that somehow you have been placed in. Mandatory education and you are stuck in a series of parameters at gunpoint that have been forced into your brain. So I guess I just have to offer you a form of bread and circuses, a way to entertain you, to keep you from not turning the channel to basically talk about those 18 mobile RV archive units broadcast tapped in as the world's most powerful computer or it was to be the world's most powerful computer at the times when I was building except for some reason I would have to keep running into repeated violent players that would keep sabotaging and committing acts of violence against me in the archive it's just amazing how these type of things can happen. So some people don't want change, other people do want change. <clears throat> but what is the change that we're talking about? Change from a dollar? <laughs> some of us think we could still use that. But in reality, the reality is we're actually not in reality. Many people would argue that we're in a simulation. So people ask me, what is your religion? That's a good question. Personally, I refuse to be just merely in somebody's possible idea of a simulation. I believe in Re-legend. A bit of a different concept. A different approach. You can spend weeks wrapping your head around it. To understand what it is, where it is, and where it is not. AI, give me a relevant image now, please. So as I move along today, I'm prompting along the way. I'm talking about... AI. I'm talking about enriching your lives. I'm talking about freeing your mind from entrapment. As the diversity of the archive goes from 18 mobile R vehicles to 100 RV vehicles to hundreds and then thousands, we are like a form of the morning daily show running around as we have central points and we are moving our material around as we have our own multimedia center area appropriate image conveyance now please so as I continue to work with the assistant and I am going through to basically build to ingrain a new AI model. As I talk to you, I am building something special. A new type of language model. And that language model is going to be assisting and communicating a brand new integration of campaign communication conveyance. Appropriate image now assistant so that we can consider what our issues are and not lose touch with the reality and the beauty and the fun of our real quick 
farmer's market that we like to go to on the weekend. We can keep ourselves organic, yet we'll still be able to understand the combination of the three most powerful images of this event, including those wonderful artists that were dressed up like clowns, giving us a new style of conveyance. So, Assistant, I need prompts for images developed now. I will choose later. Keep in mind, I will want a collage image as well. All images to be widescreen. So we're building something new and our campaign is working on a completely different integration level. We are now currently in the age of our phones are Zoom and they help us go Zoom, Zoom and Boom, Boom. But the reality is, is there another context? Can Boom, Boom mean Grow, Grow? Can Zoom, can zoom, zoom mean Do, Do, Go, Go? So if we are a traveling show, a traveling series of RV broadcast mobile archive vehicles with the conveyance of incredibly powerful Wi-Fi tapping you into mega powerful AI systems. Assistant generate appropriate conveyance for an image now. Where are we going to go? What are we going to do? Because the reality is this is about you. Do you want just another candidate to be just another snake sales person running around selling you whatever that bill of goods is that you wanted to buy, that you were convinced that you had to have, and you need a souvenir to take home? Illustrative collage conveyance souvenirs prompt generate now. Reality is that we usually need something made by experts. That's our modern, well, the modern curse we put upon ourselves. That somehow we have vastly lost track of conveying proper educational diversity so that we're capable of doing things ourselves. It would, think, it would seem like we've had all the art classes, all the conveyance, and we're supposed to be able to use the crayons and the glue and all these wonderful things. AI, make prompt series images for me to choose from now. So an understanding as we are working on multiple items multiple ways at multiple times. The further I move along building and instilling the building of this particular language model, the closer we get to complete, completely freehand working, where a series of automatic images would be generated and conveyed to choose from as we go, as we would be looking at a huge multimedia center like a major network, except this is not just the traveling show. It is the traveling event that is the construction and forward moving of the election process. It is the painting of the destiny of the country, moment by moment. Assistant, generate a series of appropriate images to be conveyed now. So for understanding how we've worked with building many things, how many of us have worked with AI models, building more and more AI models, hooking more and more AI models together to work in conveyance, to be able to develop more and more and be practical, to be enriching, to be still keeping all diversified options to always be able to go back to archives and be able to 
pull or submit. Yes, we will end up having image set creation conveyance list now. We will effectively have something new. What we are going to have is something completely different. The media, yes, the media will travel with these units or alongside these units or they will also be present in the main media center. They will be able to look at this massive amount of information that is being generated as we are evolving as a political party, as we are evolve evolving as a political process, as we are evolving our nation, a massive communication center, multiple massive communication centers. as we deal with the new integration, as the media will be covering the material and then through their own massive integration centers, they will be reworking the material to decide which information might be the most appropriate respectively for that trade-off of their personal demographic needs. How to convey and work with various other parties, how they will be able to have other material that they can have assistively available to their smaller partners in the media for their specialized localized needs. So as we embrace mediaism, should we do it and demand to do it in a different way? a more interactive way, a way that has more leads for us, a way that has more information as we go, a way where we end up having new multiple screen computer interaction, AI. We have our references made. We don't have to go look for all these numbers and go look for things. They're already being provided automatically and listed for us. Automatic systems that will actually help us also automatically make and salvage material for our YouTube, whether we're a watcher, a participant, or a primary creator. So the effective understanding of the responsibility of media and where media is, is part of the integration that is our daily reality. And the responsibility of being both independent individually and keeping, well, an ethical hand on media and say, we must keep control ethically of where these things are, where these things are going. We have to discipline ourselves. We can't be a rebel. We must convey good, rich, valued ethics. Our children are watching. We must keep this in mind. By the way, our children are watching and they're bored. They would like to have fun. They want to be entertained. So we have to trick them into learning something at the same time as we do this. Is that a cheat? Is that evil for a parent to do? Or is this a new form of integration of brilliance to say, yeah, we can actually do that. And some of us have kind of sort of been doing that for a while. There are ways we can do this. Let's embrace it more. So as we have the tie-in and the tap-in options that are becoming reality, our participation, our focus to particular issues, as we have to take the time and pay attention to the material and listen to what others have to say, we have all of these extra multi-screens of various players that are speaking, conveying message. Yet we demand higher and higher quality and better content and not just frivolous lip movement. 
at this time I want to remind you you are with the Michael Crosby for POTUS campaign. Agent generate appropriate images now. Three. Suggestive. I will, in fact, choose. And let's make a nice widescreen collage. Prompt text, please. Oh, my boy, you are, you are using AI. You have sinned. It's a screwdriver. It's a set of pliers. It's just another set of complicated tools. How you use those tools, well, that's where the discussion and ethics comes into play. Assistant creates series of prompts for widescreen images. So I do this to show you because in many ways the AI models can already convey and track along by me simply giving uh, a series of beginning instructions. So some of you get the basic idea about what I just did, what I just conveyed to you. Now, the interesting thing here is that in actuality we have something that is again a recollection that the 18 archive vehicles actually would have been much more much much more there are other parties other instances other evolutions of this series of evolving rebellions and insurrections that have been going on for quite some time that many people are still not even addressing. They're, they're in denial of what has been going on. So the conveyance for this election cycle is so far outside the loop. It's mind-boggling. You know, as originally I was going to be setting up to doing things and have a really, really big election sequence for 2008. Unfortunately, there was a lot of tragedy that occurred in 2004. This was not a good thing. I'd rather not talk about it. Uh, the factors involving chemical plant, fires, explosions, uh, the ruining of quite a bit of equipment. The lack of our justice system to appropriately work properly. The designed adjustments for our new justice system uh, effectively are stalled. The conveyances that I just went through recently here are, are very simply small sample, small portions of AI as each of these mobile units would have fantastic power, incredible power for the people who would be on board traveling with, for other people who would be, well, traveling alongside, so to speak, other people integrating into the system. The conveyance to you, the voters, involving max production and how we achieve this is a night and day difference between what people are watching between the current ongoing political circus versus a true high-end technology-powered campaign. Regardless of the fact that I have in the past tried to build archives. Uh, actually, uh, I even, uh, before I, uh, you know, I've been with the Democratic Party more than 20 years now. But the, the reality is very few people understand who I am and what I actually do. They don't understand how I do things. They don't understand the value of what people do. So I was once a Republican for 20 years. I left the Republican Party. I even offered to build an archive for the Republican Party, but 
as it is also with the Democratic Party, they wanted nothing to do with building archive. They wanted nothing to do with helping people protect crucial information that was necessary to have key interactive capabilities and guarantee that the information would be protected forever. Uh, apparently they didn't see the logic in it. Very few people eventually came forward and decided that there might be a good idea in that. I believe Hillary actually finally commented on the aspect once. But nonetheless, so I decided to go ahead and move forward and build the mechanism regardless. Since I was already building a different mechanism, it wasn't that much work to add a couple extra facets in. Of course, it's not actually just a couple extra facets. It's a tremendous amount of work. But there seems to be other people playing the game different. Other people participating in criminal activity. Other people, a dereliction of duty, uh, questions their viability. A reality that many people have the wrong idea. They don't understand that many politicians are claiming to be responsible leaders and be protecting their interest when in fact they don't care and that's not what they're actually doing and the confrontation to find out that the truth is that there's all these people that stand up and say you're not actually doing that that's not the truth in fact you don't even really seem to have any intent about doing that and you find out that jobs that people have already been doing have a dark side, a hidden side. Many closets with many skeletons. So we have parties that are currently participating in an election of a vast combination of nadism. It's almost like there's a desperate aspect of these various political players to somehow salvage and keep making things happen when the reality actually is that politics that once was has died. It's gone. And with it comes a new reality, a revealing reality that there are fewer of us with ethics than some people might think. So a return to ethics has to be just more. It's not just a return to ethics. It's an embracing of the new, the young. An embracing of the new practical. A respect of the best of what has been the work of those who came before and of those exiting. A respect and a serious need to grasp at the realities and be able to reference and work with this material. With me, it's something that I effectively have scheduled as a setup of a fast-paced super AI recovery check system. Many styles, many ways, many very important ethical management structures that can't be forgotten. We can't allow them to be destroyed. Although there's other people that think that their new coming of age is about destroying everything from before, regardless of whether or not it's useful or ethical, whether or not there's any richness to the content, the material. I seem to have, well, I have my own viewpoint and the longer that you listen to my material, the more you'll understand. It's difficult for me to not be able to try to move faster and convey more information to you because of multiple factors. It's not just because of these massive violent attacks upon the archives. It also has to do with you, the voters, how much are you prepared to integrate with? How much are you prepared to intake into your brain? 
How many of you are stuck in a work reality that virtually seems to afford you very little time and it is a great sacrifice for you even to participate in political events and political sequences at all? The concept to say would it, it would be nice to effectively financially cover the proper development is something that's been addressed many times by many people. The new AI system that I was developing basically has an understanding of the practical and reward-based system, understanding productivity and asset generation number one. However, however, to be able to find value in art and other things are of the highest value as well. Figuring out ways to creatively make assistive government evolutionary tooling available for every citizen is something that will come with AI if we allow it. The bargain is to buy it, not to reject the concept, but to embrace it and say, if we want better government, let's buy it, let's pay for it, let's put it directly into the hands of citizens. Let's expand the minds and the education of people. Let's continuously adopt those who have better and better techniques of conveyance, of learning, of being the great teachers in these fields. They can also do what? Make it more entertaining and enjoyable as we participate. And if you run it at the right speed, it can merely be a catalyst for you doing duality work at the same time. These might sound like bizarre concepts, but our children, our children are already embracing the multiality concepts right now as we speak. All kids like things with buttons, trust me. So how is all this moving issues development forward? Where are the solutions? I've already laid them out. They're already all over the YouTube material that I've put out there. If they're in tweets, I've got code, I've got a lot of stuff. Quite frankly, I've already outputted the equivalent, according to AI, of trillions of dollars of gateway material. <laughs>